Well, folks, today we got a lot of disasters to go over, but let's start off with some good news, because coming in at our number 11 spot, let's go for 11 likes on the video, subscribe if you're brand new, because check this out, man, Elden Ring just came out, and they have confirmed that they got a brand new DLC in the works, and people are shaking, a lot of people started doing helicopters with their release, our existence isn't meaningless, I was born for the pain, remembering that one time an undead SOB tried to push me into a wild size gelatoni, we also got Betty saying I need it, and this is one of those rare pictures, and let me tell you guys this, okay? This is probably how Slushy is gonna look like if Sledgehammer Games were to announce Van Garbage 2, but that's not happening, okay? Oh. But yes, man, the Elden Ring devs did say that we're not gonna get the DLC, and now we are getting the DLC, and I really hope that one day Hogwarts Legacy can be getting that DLC, but definitely we have some good news, but check this out at our number 10 spot. You might want to sit down, you might want to clench your butt cheeks, guys, because Andy Robinson, let me tell you this about Andy Robinson, okay? He's the owner, he's the editor, he's behind VGC, and VGC is a very good source, okay? Like a hand on top of this bottle of water, Andy knows sometimes what he's talking about, but this time, I'm not sure I do not buy the story because he went crazy last night, and he said that Xbox and Microsoft is looking to sell Xbox if the Activision Blizzard deal doesn't go through oh my god oh my god and a lot of people started gathering around a lot of people from all walks of life came together as one and a lot of people okay let me tell you man the bots they went crazy they went bozo understandably but i mean damn man like y'all y'all be sending this man having proposals so much so that the homie ended up privatizing his twitter account the bots ended up sending him having proposal <laughs> i mean Damn, man, that is some of the most insane thing ever. And this happens with the Sony ponies as well, right? Because whenever some bad news comes out for Sony ponies, the bots kind of go crazy, and then the Sony ponies start sending heaven proposals. It's just the toxic gamers, ladies and gentlemen. But the story is so wild. Phil Spencer went ahead, and he says the Xbox will exist, even if its proposed Activision Blizzard acquisition is blocked. <laughs> so Phil Spencer literally just annihilated the story. I made a dedicated video. Daphne checked that out after the fact because we have a lot of sauce in this story, guys. Because apparently Andy Robinson says that, guys, like I heard from a lot of industry pundits behind the scenes that this is a genuine possibility that if the Activision deal is blocked, they might be selling Xbox. This sounds bull squash to me. We're talking about Microsoft. It's a trillion dollars company. How much more money they need? I understand these companies are all about them profits, but this definitely doesn't sound natural. So much so that we had the bot specific YouTubers going in. We even had the Sony Ponies YouTubers. Uh, if Xbox genuinely has a chance of shutting down, if they don't get Activision, I would rather they have it than shut down. I mean, damn, okay, that is just wild. Also, real quick, there was a man who got arrested for training his dog to throw bricks at people ringing his doorbell. And if you happen to be the guy that was underneath, you need Morgan and Morgan. If you're ever injured or you know someone who's injured and you do not know where to start, Morgan and Morgan is easy. When you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney is one of the first things you should do. And with Morgan and Morgan, submitting a claim is super easy. More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan and Morgan when they were injured in an accident and the best part is that they do not charge you unless they win the kiss for you <gasps> if you're ever injured in a car accident or at your workplace you can check out Morgan and Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without having to leave your account. That's right. For more information, you can check out forthepeople.com or dial pound law. That's five to nine on your cell phone, or you can check out the top pin comment below as well. We're also hearing that new Battlefield single player campaign adds dice as a code developer. And some people are shaking saying that Battlefield Bad Company 3. And a lot of people definitely are looking forward to this one. Said no one ever. <laughs> But I made a dedicated video on this one earlier today. Definitely check that out because not many people are talking about it and understandably so because Battlefield 2042 shies out of the bed. They had the perfect opportunity. I mean, damn, man. They could have took over Call of Duty because they had Van Garbage out that year. This year, they had like Modern Warfare 2 and uh, a lot of them. Uh, uh, yeah. We obviously have this operator that is packing a lot of heat. Bro. I mean, for real, guys. If Battlefield does not succeed this time, then I don't know when it well because we have 3,000 Call of Duty devs putting their big IQ, their big brain, their creativity to this situation. Oh, yep, yeah, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, but check this out, right, ladies and gentlemen, PS3 system software update 4.9 out is out today. 
This update improves performance. That's cool and all, but can a brother perhaps get that PS3 backwards compatibility on the PS5? Is that too hard? Because I really want to be selling my fat PS3. Guys, do not take a picture. Uh, definitely smash a like button for this uh, fat PS3, but don't take a picture, okay? It's a, it's a precious boy. And it looks like that a lot of people just cannot even compute. We also have a we're gonna actually go there man i mean damn guys do not chase a pom pom man chase your dreams and smash that like button okay because apparently we're hearing that call of duty black ops 3 on pc has several hacks and exploits including a current hack that lets cheaters reveal your ip address corrupt your game data and even crash your pc i mean damn and activision today said that they are deploying a fix later this week to stop the exploit via TechCrunch. Yo, I gotta say, man, that's a rare Activision IQ. That's a that's a rare Activision WH. My, my bad. Also, the big homie I show Speed ended up getting caught with his pants down or in fact, like, YouTube got caught with the, their pants down because the homie I show Speed ah! 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 He ended up getting a community guideline strike for spam deceptive practices and scams policy and his video or stream ended up getting sent to YouTube heaven. I mean, damn guys, and uh, they do be sending videos to heaven and Aiden Ross came out who recently got banned on Twitch and he says I kick stop being dumb they treat you like a peasant when you're their biggest streamer you deserve equity and a multi-million dollar deal that's my like button if you deserve that multi-billion dollar equity too man i think you deserve it guys uh, definitely smash the like button if you think you deserve it too equity alone you will be an owner of your own platform don't be dumb bro Bruh. and also phil spencer went bozo he did an interview and this is what he's saying in a new interview phil spencer said that the same version of call of duty will be on every platform and this also includes no exclusive of content roll it you don't intend on making call of duty an exclusive xbox title um but a lot of people interpret that word differently so for you and for xbox at our current position what does not exclusive or exclusive mean to you we want to increase the places where people can play call of duty i think a little bit like minecraft mm -hmm. i think when we acquired minecraft our monthly active player base was 20, 30 million, I'm doing this from memory, but I think that's about the size that Minecraft was. And I think it's about maybe 120 million yeah, monthly players on Minecraft. And you do that, obviously, first and foremost, by nurturing the creative, make sure the game evolves and the teams have the resources they need to build a great game. Because mm -hmm. in the end, it's all about great games. With Call of Duty, I think we've made some specific um, agreements with Nintendo mm -hmm. and with NVIDIA to ensure the game can show up in front of more places. And you obviously don't make the game bigger by taking it away from anybody yeah, who's playing absolutely. today. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I looked the other day. We have 58 games in our portfolio that are available in the PlayStation Store okay. today. Now, we've acquired a lot of those, mm -hmm. like the Doom Bruh. games and the Fallout games. But even things we're updating, like ESO, Fallout 76. Yeah. And so we expect to ha hit a certain level of quality on all of those games, the mm -hmm. level of quality that PlayStation players expect. So that's the our Sony goal. Ponies? The same thing on PC and the same thing on Nintendo. Uh, and so when we say available everywhere or not exclusive, we want to make absolutely the best version of Call of Duty for any yeah. player on oh, any of those platforms. And does that include anything in regards to exclusivity in regards of content? No. Or maybe like no. Warzone based access? No. Oh, shit. No. Nope. no, we're not. Love we, that. Full stop, no. no. <laughs> well, because like I, I sit here today with a great game that's come out in the last couple of weeks, Hogwarts Legacy. And yes, mm -hmm. there is a quest that's available on PlayStation. It's not available true, on true, Xbox true. as mm -hmm. part of that. And I know this is part of the industry. That's not the game we're trying to play here yeah. either. Bruh. It's not about oh, a skin oh, on a gun. Shit. It's not about a certain kind of mode of the game mm -hmm. that we, uh, the same version of the game will be available on all platforms, which is, is really what we do today. Oh, like if you're a, a Minecraft player on PlayStation, I don't think you feel like you have the lesser version yeah, of, of Minecraft yeah. or Minecraft Dungeons or mm -hmm. Legends, which is coming out when mm -hmm. it ships. Yeah. Um, which is going to be cross-play as well. That's right. And we yeah. want to make sure those players feel like they have a, a great experience on the platform they choose to mm -hmm. play on. So that's why Xbox is interested in, you know, going down this road hand in hand with Activision Blizzard King. But Bruh. what's the benefit to gamers and creators? And if, any, if possible, gamers. is there maybe an angle in the UK that benefits them? In the end, it, it's it's all about player and creator benefit. Like we know that as building a platform, if our players aren't finding great games to play. Bruh, games what games? Bruh. <laughs> Quickly after, a lot of people started going to ganging stuff. People started dropping deuces, DDTs. The homie Legacy Killer, he was patrolling around the streets. Okay, he was policing the chat guys. And he ended up dropping a German suplex. And he ended up saying this weird take from Phil Spencer. <laughs> Xbox quite literally is taking away the mainline Bethesda games from PlayStation. Not to mention 
most likely of the other Bethesda Studio games such as the ID and Arcane. Full stop! Fallout 5, The Elder Scrolls 6, Starfield will not be on PS5 and PS6, etc. I am okay. He clearly says things people are already playing. He actually says or things people are playing. Uh, why is he even still the Xbox boss? He has been a disaster. The Xbox now has... <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh, th these are not my opinions, guys. Uh, this is what the, the toxic gamers are saying. Most of that isn't his fault. His predecessors nearly killed the brain. Can't understate how poorly of a job. And, and these are facts, right? In my honest opinion, though, Phil Spencer definitely has been doing very good things for Xbox. I get it, because the previous Xbox bosses, they were talking about the Forever Online. They had that Kinect thingy, right? They wanted to spy on our dumbasses out there. Y'all remember the Xbox One situation, right? You can not play the used games you cannot sell the used games you cannot borrow the used games you cannot do this you cannot do that and then sony came out and they made it like a 20 second long uh teaser video if i can find it i'll put it there they ended up making a 20 second video where they were telling people how to play used games in playstation 4 that was some of the dumbest thing that was some of the craziest thing man 2013 man crazy times i miss those days okay Boom! we're also in the amaranth will make her boxing debut hey, 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 hey against Spanish streamer Mayachi on IBS uh, I don't know how to pronounce that boxing event in Madrid and this is actually happening and a lot of people uh, started dropping those uh, pillow fight and uh, that's kind of like what I'm expecting to be honest are they really gonna be like throwing like punches out there I don't know about this one hey, shout out to the homie Ellie for adding me in the situation the homie definitely be keeping up with the loops out here but is this gonna be like an OnlyFans pay-per-view you tell me but guys check this out so GTA 6 leaker reveals major warzone 2 style upgrade for Y city i definitely need you with your cap meters out here dial one if you think this is cap dial two if you think these are facts but guys check this out okay this is one of those games that we will never get it okay uh realistically they did confirm it last year i don't know when we're gonna get that teaser trailer buckos I, I don't know when we're gonna get the trailer this year hopefully but check this out right so alex came on he says that in avril 2022 chris clippel avait publié ce tweet à propos de la version de des riches uh, he's basically saying that back in April of 2022, Chris Klippel, he did post a, a video stuff about Rage 9 Engine, which ended up getting uh, out there. Uh, I mean, I made a video on this. I'll definitely link you in the cards. Uh, you can definitely check it out right here after the fact, because I did cover this video. This is the NVIDIA kind of like Wavework 1.0, and this shows the graphics fidelity, and this is like a representation tag demo. We're going to see similar graphics for GTA 6, and this is one of those big things right now that's going around. I'm pretty sure you heard about it right but essentially what we're hearing is that gta 6 is on the first game to make that big deal about that water warzone 2 for instance features a ton of hidden underwater loot and some users even complained that swimming was overpowered Lee claims GTA will have advanced water, physics, and surfing. And while these leaks were going around, Rockstar Games came out and they said, that, oh, look at the gunman in GTA Online this week to purchase the hefty laser or power video maker at below market price. I mean, wow. We love to see it, right? And the homie was like, your game's broken. My internet is fine. I have a PlayStation Plus and it says that the servers are offline. And Rockstar hit him up with our Rockstar game customer support. We love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. But click on this video on the screen because a lot of things ended up getting leaked out. Click on this video or click the video on the left because Microsoft may be selling Xbox. This is a disaster of a gaming news story. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.